summer afternoon here in Aspen. Uh, gorgeous. And it does not get much better because not only are we at Jimmy's, which is an iconic institution here in Aspen, but we are here with Greg Van Wagner, who is the man in charge of all the good things to drink here at Jimmy's. All the Venice beverages. Well, Greg, thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon because we're going to do one of our favorite things to do, which is drink wine. Of course. It's a hobby unto itself. And I heard you're the expert. Well, I try to learn and I, I like drinking wine, so I guess that, I guess that uh, suffices. <laughs> well, we have a lot in common already. And because it's summer and we are holding on to this last month and a half of summer that we have. As long as we can. What are we drinking? What are you, what do you like for summertime? Perfect. So uh, this summer, you know, I decided, okay, I really haven't delved as deeply as I could into different styles of Riesling. You know, there's a perception that all Riesling is sweet. Uh, and I knew that not to be true, but I didn't really know how it ages and what it goes through. Uh, so I created a fun project for myself. I said, all right, well, I'm gonna buy a bunch of bottles of old, really high quality uh, Riesling from great producers, and I'm going to drink it with my friends. I'm gonna spend the whole summer, make any excuse to crack open a bottle and uh, see how it is. You must be very popular. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a ton of friends. Exactly. Put me on that list, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you free tonight? I got wine. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah, so there's there's actually quite a few fun little finds uh, that, I've, that I've gotten to drink this summer. This one is uh, August Kessler, uh, producer out of the uh, the Rheingau. So there's there's one giant southeast southeast facing uh, hill in the Rheingau, and uh, Riesling is produced all over the hill. It's about 80 percent of everything they produce in the Rheingau. And uh, is Riesling only produced in Germany? No, no. You see it in in Austria. You see it really all over the world. Uh, I mean, even in France and Alsace, uh, and producers in the United States. I mean, it's it's really a grape that grows best in certain areas, and the best areas uh, just transcend uh, transcend thoughts. I mean, this is uh, one of the more sought after areas, uh, and it has age on it. It's two thousand one. This is two thousand one. It is. Wow. Uh, really great Riesling it has such high acidity that it balances out any uh, any sweetness in the wine and also makes it just a long-term contender in these wines. Really, you almost want to give them 10 years to to, uh, to see how they are. Now already on the bouquet, I smell a lot of grapefruit and I don't smell the signature overly sweet Riesling right. that maybe typifies what most places are. But of yeah. course not Jimmy's because you guys know your wine here. It's, it's so bright, it has this, you know, this tartness to it that really, you know, there might be the teensiest, tiniest bit of sugar, but you don't really get that. You know, you taste the freshness and uh, it's refreshing. Go for a long bike ride and, you know, have a little reason. Well, this is a good reward. So it's August Kessler. Yeah, and what I love about German wines is that uh, if, you, if, you, if you know how to read them, they tell you everything you could possibly want to know and more. Uh, it's just a matter of getting past the, uh, the language. <laughs> but, the very, very long word structure. Exactly. In exactly, German. Exactly. But you look at this, it's, it's Riesling, it's from the Rheingau. Uh, Rudesheimer Berg is just a little vineyard that it's at, August Kessler. Uh, Spotlesa Trocken. So anytime you see Trocken on a label, it means it's dry. It's dry. Uh, and Spotlace is how ripe they get the grapes. And pretty much tell you. Most of it in a language that's a little, a little more difficult to understand, but you know, if you dabble a little bit in German, you can, you can kind of know what you're getting. Well, I dabble and I like it. Perfect. So, what else do we have here? All oh, right. So, this is, you know, I love Primer Cru, actually, because it's crisp, it's really bright, uh, and you get amazing complexity. And probably the best thing about it is that you can drink. Uh, you know, you can go out with friends and you can crack open a couple bottles of Premier Cru Chablis, whereas if you're going down to uh, Pouligny Montrachet or some of the uh, uh, some of the bigger known white burgundy areas, 
uh, it starts to get a little uh, rough on rough on the wallet if you're having a couple yeah, bottles. Yeah, it's, it's a little pricey once you start going into those white burgundy regions. Exactly, exactly. So this is the same grape uh, Chardonnay, but just a little bit further north. So literally, to get to this area, you you fly into Paris, and it's about an hour and a half of really creative navigation, but. You could probably get there an hour if you're French, but I don't know. It took me it took me about two hours. <laughs> taking left, taking right. Who knows where we're at? I don't speak the language. Uh, Thank goodness for GPS, though. Exactly. If your GPS is working. Yeah, and if you if you go with your car rental place, make sure uh, make sure it's not in French. Uh, but this is a much colder area. If you think about it, you know it's more further north. Uh, so the wine, just like, just like any other fruit grapes, you know, when you get them riper, think about like a ripe strawberry. It's really juicy. It's really kind of sweet. And when you have, say, an underripe strawberry, it's really tart. You know, it has that kind of pop to it. And the same thing happens with grapes, because you know you get them very ripe and they can become juicy. You go out to California; it's hot out there, right? So the wines are more fruit forward, they're bigger. Uh, you go to a place like Chablis, it's, you, you, can, you can kind of go based on what you need to pack. You go to Chablis, you better be bringing coats, you better be bringing scarves, uh, it's cool up there. Even during the summertime. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for certain. This almost tastes more what I would expect a traditional Riesling to taste like it's very bright and mm -hmm. it's there's a bigger sweetness to it mm -hmm. but this just screams summer to me yeah and with oysters or you know any type of seafood oh, same. you can make a hobby out of just eating oysters and drinking from a commercial menu like i said you must have many friends <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the third wine, this is, you know, not the not the traditional uh, what you drink in the uh, in the summertime. But as far as as far as for us at Jimmy's, it's near and dear to our heart because uh, it is California Cabernet. We are an American restaurant. That's uh, in the name, and it's a 1997, which is a special year for us because we were actually uh, Jimmy's was opened in 1997. So we are going into our 20th summer. So I feel like this is as appropriate as anything you could imagine. Well, I will tell you, I drink red wine any time of the year. And I drink 1997 red wine, especially from the Napa region. Any time, any day, any place. Of course. And I can't think of a better place to be enjoying this type of wine with a better person in a better restaurant. So cheers to Jimmy's for 20 years. Cheers. This year in Napa, the wines were uh, considered nearly perfect. Uh, Kathy Corson, an absolute favorite winemaker of mine, she has always stayed consistent with her Rutherford Kronos Vineyard, uh, always doing the same thing every year, never kind of bowing to trends, making her fine, elegant styles in that cab uh, that age absolutely gorgeously. Uh, for anybody who says that Napa can't age, I hand them a bottle of something like this or done and and this is almost French style wine. A hundred percent. I would have tasted this and not guessed Napa, but once again, very elegant winemaker. Yeah. And there's a reason of the phrase aging like a fine red wine. Exactly. Fantastic. Really pretty. Well, cheers. Thank you so much for taking cheers. us on a little summer wine adventure here at Jimmy's in Aspen. Thank you for joining.